Hello all and welcome to our course Primavera P6, the advanced course that will cover a complete schedule for a bridge from A to Z. The last lectures we have talking about uh, developing WBS. If you have a bridge like that, two simple bridge, two span, two vent, whatever, or two opening, you have abutment one, vent one, abutment two, and under abutment one you will have the this is the footing, you have the piles, then you have the column, then you have the super structures when you have the precast uh, beam or cast in situ beam, and you have the slab, and you have the finishing handrail, and on the right side and left side you will have the embank. Let us start this uh, lectures about adding activity. There's many ways to add activity under manuals, or you import it from uh, Excel uh, or using different software will give you more tricks guys uh, Let us start with a simple way and I will go to the Excel file. So here I developed uh, some of the activities uh, And WS code by the way, uh, I need uh, to start the work. I have a milestone I prefer to have a milestones uh, at the top of the schedule and I will show you guys this in uh, right now and you have the bridge completion so anyone who doesn't have time to review the schedule, he just can go and review the milestone. He can get uh, when the bridge start, when the bridge is completed. I'm adding another WS for procurement. So for beams, whatever. So you have now the milestones and you have the uh, procurement. Any worker, if you do a building, a bridge, whatever, you have to do excavations for abutment one, excavation for abutment two, excavation for the pier or the paint. After you do that, you're gonna do the footing for abutment one, abutment two, and vent one. After that, you will do the column, okay, for abutment one, abutment two, and vent one. After that, you will be, uh, install the precast beams, okay, on the left side, right side, and then you put the slab, and then you start filling the embankment and the The simple steps for any structures, you start with excavations, do footing, then do column, then do the slab. It's very easy. Like here, you start doing the footing, make the column, and then put the beams and do the uh, slab, and then you do the embankment. Okay, how we can do this in uh, P6? There's many, many ways, and guys, we're gonna give you a lot of tricks that's gonna save your time. Let me show if I would like to do this manually. If you go to, by the way, this is a program that we have started. You have the WSC tab here. It will show you guys all the WS. You can add more. You can whatever. Here's the milestone I added. How I added that? You go this plus sign on the right, and then you can add whatever you need to do milestone to whatever. Okay. I if you are happy with this level, that's fine. You can move it to the left. You can move it up. You can see the arrow here, or you can delete either here. Okay. So I added milestones, I added procurement, and this is here in the WS tab. If you would like to switch to activity, you can go to activity here, and then you can see the WS. Some people, uh, if you see here, if you don't have an activity and they have this height of empty, he will not see anything. I got many questions from guys. Oh, I have done the WS, but when I go to the activity, I didn't see anything. Yes, because you did not add any activity here, and you have this tab group and sort you will make here hide if empty so and check this make it like that and then you can have your wbs okay i can go right now manually here and then add activity like that okay can make next next like this and then i can copy go to excel here and copy start work okay like that and then you can add another one bridge completion okay what can i do here i can copy this copy and paste like that and then i will go to excel i will copy this here bridge completion control c go to primavera and then you make it like that. I can fill all of that uh, one by one like this. And the other way is to export. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about it right now. Rather than you go and fill all of this, 
uh, here what you can do you go file export and you choose here a spreadsheet excel and then next i need only activity for now next then you highlight what project you would like to export and then next here's the important part okay i have many layout uh, and i would like you can see here modify i would like to have by the way the activity id and i don't need the ws name i don't i don't need that i just need the activity the id activity name i don't need the start and finish now but we'll need it in the future this is by default you cannot take it out activity status okay and then i will make okay next then i will choose the place that i would like uh, to have this and i prefer to call it export so that you will have your file when you export it from uh, Primavera. next finish so now you can see the export was successful let us now check guys this file how it looks like I will go to the folder that I have added this. I called it bridge uh, construction, this bridge here. And then I will open export. So you can see guys, how the export looks like, okay? You have activity ID, you have a status code you have ws code and you have activity name okay i don't need uh, the start and finish all this stuff the most important for me is this column this column and this one okay what i need i would like to fill all of the information here so if i if i have this in excel like that i can go and copy all of that like what i did okay I will go here and then paste. So you have all your activity. Okay. How can I fill the WBS here? It's very easy, like what I did. You go to Primavera, you go to WBS here, and you can Control A and then Control C or copy. And you go to the Excel, whatever you would like to put it anywhere, uh, here or here, or because this is, uh, I will put it by the way here. Let's copy again, copy, and then paste. You cannot, okay, because this is a merger cell, put it here. So, guys, you have all your WBS code is here. Okay, what you will do, you will go and choose by the way, this is procurement activity A16. I need to add it here into that one, and also I can make it by the way here also. But this is six okay excavations you can see excavations i need to have by the way this abutment one uh it is a1 which is the project and then 1.1 i can copy this and then i will assign it by the way to the excavation like that so you can finish all of this okay uh, i just did it I, don't, I would like to save your time so when you finish all of that you have to go back to your uh, Excel file <clears throat> that you already filled with all the informations, okay, here, and you fill all of your WBS, okay, and activity ID here, whatever, if you would like to change it, whatever, or you would like just to double click like that, you will fill all the activity ID, you can change the activity ID, so you have to fill all of that, fill this, okay, so once you, you finish that and assign the WBS code, you have a file ready, okay, and after that, you will import it into Primavera. Uh, let me show you guys how to import this file. After I, I finish this, I mix save as. And I will call it import, not export, because I, I already uh, exported. So I have it here. I have it ready. Okay. So let us now go to Primavera. Okay. I have it here. I would like to go file, import. I will choose the spreadsheet. 
next next go to my project the one i already have uh, my information on it which is the bridge here and i call this file import this is the one i assign the ws code i assign the id open next i need activity next i need to import it to where to the same project i'm gonna update the same project and then finish so guys you got all your activity here so it is very easy either you do it manually or you go export activities and then you fill the wbs adding activity id and then you import it back it's very easy especially for big project it is very very easy and saving time uh, there's many tricks i'm gonna add it in the future but i hope you like this lecture guys if you have any questions let me know